you so much to whoever you were that commented that I needed to try out the 911. You were 1000 percent right. Thank you. I think I made my decision. I think I made my decision. Woo. I wanted with a passion to hate this car and think everybody else was just old and crazy. It was just an old man, you know, just being a fanboy of his Porsche. You know what I mean? set up got my shades and then and most importantly we got the keys let's get this morning started let's get this ride going all right so coffee check it fits in nice and snug if i take some corners i'm not gonna uh, spill anything it might come over the top but it's not bad all right keys ready got a key going we're good and then I'm gonna set up some camera mounts, not on the windows, because I'm planning on bringing the top down. So we'll see how the ride goes. And let's take this thing for a spin and see what it's about. It does get loose in the back, so it definitely is a car that you can play around with. So it should be good. Uh, let's go for a ride and see what this 911 is all about. This is the Carrera S, it's the 2021 model. Let's start her up and go for a little rip. <laughs> Room. Look how much space I have from the top of my head to the roof, and the top is up. I'm, I'm kind of speechless with all the, uh, the the space I have in here. To be honest, I'm six four, three hundred pounds. I wasn't, I didn't want to love this car, but man, I'm loving this car. I'm, I'm not a big Porsche fanatic, but this thing is phenomenal. They're right. All the hype is right. And I got my Carrera shades. Check them out. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Got my Carrera shades. I'm in the Carrera. Let's go for a rip. Going on a little Sunday morning cruise. See what this 911 is all about. Man, it's nice to have some cup holders though, man. Let's just pop that in there. Uh, move your hands around. Feel good. And the, the coffee cup's not behind you. It's not out to the, to the, to the footwells of the passenger. It's an arm's length, my man. Oh, this car is... I didn't want to love it, but man, I'm falling in love with it, man. It's like that girl that you never expected to date. And you guys are starting to talk and you're hitting it off and you're like, oh crap, I think I'm falling for this girl. This is that girl. This 911 is that girl. She's a sleeper, she's under the radar, and then boom, she hooks you. This thing's the best bait for any car lover. It's phenomenal. I don't even know, I can't put words together. I just. I didn't want to love it. I really didn't want to love it, but I'm really having some deep feelings. You know when those cars just connect to the end, you're just like, man, you can't stop thinking about it. This is it. This is the car. This is the girl. This is the one you want. This is the one that will be there for you every turn of the key, but it's on the left side. All right, so I'm kind of stuck here right now because this California Howie Patrol everywhere on this strip that I usually rip on, so we'll see. So far, the car's driving amazing. I'm having fun, but I can't really rip it in here. I had to turn off my exhaust in case these guys pulled me over for some. So first off, do I have any dislikes about this 911, this Carrera S, Porsche? The only thing I don't like has nothing to do with performance, has nothing to do with comfort or anything. The car's just kind of boring looking. You know what I mean? Like, they all look alike. I know it's kind of like, you can trash me in the comments or whatever, but I just, it's a gorgeous car. Okay, get, it's a gorgeous car. But they all kind of look alike. You know what I mean? Not that you want to stand out all the time, but I like to have a unique car 
that no one really has. I don't know, I want a car that I, that I love and I appreciate. That excites me every time I look at it, makes me look back when I walk away from it, you know what I mean, everything. Just really gets you going. Performance wise, this car does it. It's amazing, you know? Throttle response, uh, through the curves, all that stuff. I'm not a race car driver, I don't know all the lingos. I just know what I like when I like it. And right now, the 911 checks all those boxes. The only thing it doesn't check is like the unique looks and styling of it. I love the hips in the back. The, the car is gorgeous. It just looks like all the other Porsches. I guess that's what you want too, you know what I mean? You don't want them the style to go crazy. Because look at the cars nowadays, they all look like trash. Everything's starting to look like a toaster oven or whatever. I don't know. Everything, everything's electric. Everything has no soul. This car has soul. Like, you get into it, it takes a day, but you connect. You just love everything about it. The way it responds, the way it, it does whatever you want it to do, when you want it to do it. If I put the pedal down, it goes. It doesn't. It doesn't give you that immediate response if you're in normal mode. It's a slower push off, you know what I mean? It's a slower acceleration. But if you have it in Sport Plus, it does everything to the T that you want it to do. It's super responsive. It's nimble. It's just an all round fun car that you can enjoy day in and day out, whether you're in the city, you're up in the canyons, you're in through the hills and the mountains, wherever you, wherever you are, when there's a nice, decent road, even potholed roads like this, that's all filled and cracked and filled in. It's still smooth. Like this, there's, there's potholes everywhere, as you can see, but it's not uncomfortable. My hips don't hurt. The AMG GT, my hips were bruised. I, I, I'm, I'm a bigger guy, so it wasn't as comfortable. You know what I mean? With this, you can just sit in it, connect with the car, daydream, think about life, meditate. Because a lot of the times we're in these cars, we, we get, we're brought into a different state of mind. No one has seen me shed tears other than a car that I've been in. And I know a lot of you guys can relate. There's something about being in your car, you veg and you go and you just enjoy it. Like it just, it transcends you to a different time, place. You just connect with man and beast and the beast being this 911 Carrera ass. It just feels on point. Say you're going away on a weekend, then you can definitely do that with this car. There's plenty of storage space in the front the storage space behind me. This is the only car that I haven't had to bring my seat all the way back and wish there was more room. I actually br had to bring my chair forward because it was actually too much space. You know, I'm not fitting anything but a newborn baby that's been born in the hour behind me with no seat belt, no seat, no nothing. And I'm comfortable. I can't, I can't express how much or how I feel when it comes to comfort in this car. It's like something that actually connects to you. Being a taller guy, being a larger guy, a lot of us bigger guys can't get a modern day sports car. You know what I mean? The Huracan, the Audi R8, um, even the C8 is, it's more, it's more comfort, more space, but it's not as much as this car. You know what I mean? This car is just on point. So I got ADHD and all that crap, so everything gets all thrown off with me. This thing was just washed the other day, and it, it's dusty. I don't know what it is with LA. LA is dirty and dusty. I don't know what it is, if it's the construction, what guy just doesn't like the area. This place is always just dusty. You can wash your car, and it'll be a dust pool the next day. Just overnight, just a cloud of dust. We're not even in the desert. I don't know what, what, what happens here, but maybe it's construction. I don't know. Sorry, my ADHD is all over the place. I think of other things. I do a bunch of different stuff. Let me pull over here. I'm going to bring the top down. And you'll see how long it takes for this thing to come down. One, two, three, four. Now I don't want to lose any of my shit, though. All right, let's get out of here. That was quick, right? At least now you get to hear what it's all about. Oof. Oof. Come on, man. God, this This is a six cylinder car. I shouldn't be able to feel like I'm in a V8. You know what I mean? I even think this has more of a punch than the Audi R8 did. And like the best part, I can actually look through the windscreen. I can look through the windshield. The, the, the top pillar of the windshield is not at my eyesight like it was in the Audi R8. The Audi R8, half my head was out the, out the window, out the top of the windshield. The Audi R8, 
I didn't feel safe. I felt like I could just plop over if I was going fast enough. I was like, and then people would even comment when I was driving by there, like, oh, you look a little snug in there. Yeah, I was snug as shit. I couldn't go anywhere. It was horrible. But this car, I'm just, I'm relaxed. But I, I could be on it whenever I want to, you know what I mean? But frig, what? I'm just going to do a quick little touch right here. Oh my god. I think I just my pants. I'm sorry, that's a little too vulgar, but I... Oh my god. Just a little touch, that's all it was, and it feels phenomenal. God, I'm loving this car so much. This car checks all the boxes. And you can see, like, ooh, it grabbed me a little bit. As you can see, like, I'm comfortable. I'm, I can look around, I can bring my arm up. I don't feel like I'm pinned forward, you know what I mean? In the AMG GT, I, was, I felt like I was pinned forward. My fist was on the, on the rear view mirror, like, past it you know what i mean so i was never really comfortable i was never really comfortable in the amg gt i was never really comfortable in the audi r8 the c8 was on the top of my list of everything i drove until today until i got in the 911 the 911 blows my mind man I, I i don't even know what to say i wanted with a passion to hate this car and think everybody else was just old and crazy it was just an old man you know just being a fanboy of his porsche you know what i mean but is so right about it all. It's crazy, man. Oof. That's it, just a little touch. That's all you needed. And I have to admit, I was babying that. Just because there was cops all over the place here, and I don't know where they are now. There was legit three when I hit the record button when I first started this video. I don't, I don't want to sound like a, a weirdo, but the fact that I can actually look through the windshield, half my head's not sticking out of the car, I don't look like a goofball. You know what I mean? This car makes all those other ones garbage, to be honest. I don't know what it is, what they did, but it's all those years of, you know, tinkering and, and making sure the this is the ultimate, as tacky as it is to say, driving machine. The 911 is just, ah, perfect. Feels weird even saying it, to be honest. But the car is so perfect. Jeez. I wanted to hate this car so bad. And I'm loving it so much. <laughs> what the hell? I can't even put into words what this car makes me feel. Because it's like, it's a mix between wanting to hate it, wanting to love it, confusion, and it just outperforms each time. It puts a smile on my, on my face. Like, I went to bed last night and I couldn't stop thinking about this car. Crazy. I get it now. I get it. Why all your Porsche fans, all your Die Hard 911 guys, why there's a whole crew of you guys. It makes sense. This car is phenomenal. I probably said phenomenal a thousand times in this car. My vocabulary is not the greatest, okay? First generation kid, English second language from Boston, so my English is jacked up anyway. But god damn, this car is amazing. And I'm not a race car driver. I'm not, I haven't been, I didn't grow up with cars. I was just like everybody else. I was a kid, had a Dodge Viper blue with white stripes hanging up in my room with a bunch of other posters of all the other cars I dreamed of. And just being able to even just get in one and ride one and get a feel for it. It's awesome. And just being able to be in the market to actually purchase one is an amazing feeling. Oh, it's a nice little uh, Huracan ro rolling up right now. It's a nice blue. All right, so we'll push it here. Jeez, that was the quickest, like, zero to 50. I'm not gonna go fast because there's cops everywhere. I'm going to hit the highway next and see if uh, I can get a quick pull there. I'm in the market for my first purchase, my first dream car, the thing I've been wanting since I was a kid. And I'm finally at a stage where I can do that, you know what I mean? So now it's, you know, checking all the boxes to see what I really want, what I can, what what works for me, you know, and my current lifestyle. So my price range maybe tops 175, tops, 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 175. So the cars I've been looking at in the market is this 911, right? You got the Audi R8, you got the C8. The AMG GT, even the AMG GT C, just seems like it it's better than the AMG GT I was driving. And I'm going through the, and the McLaren is going to be, the McLaren 570S, I'm so tempted to get. I haven't been in it yet, but I'm so tempted to get. I hear horrible things about McLaren. I don't want to believe it because I, I'm really favoring those cars. I haven't driven it yet, but I think that's going to be the next one on my list. But man, I I this the 911 has was nowhere on my radar on a car of potentially getting 
I had uh, the AMG TT, and I noticed one of you guys in the comments were, were uh, saying, you know, oh, you should definitely check out the 911. It's the AMG GT and more. And I was like, eh, I'm not a big fan. But listening to you guys, I just had to. I had to give it a try and be like, all right, what, what's the hype all about? And, and now I understand what you're talking about. I completely, completely understand what you guys are fanning about, what you guys are obsessed about, what you guys are like so gung-ho about. The car is everything you guys talk about. And then some. Top of the list is this 911, right? Comfort-wise, performance-wise, but it's actually phenomenal for my girlfriend too because being passenger, I don't want her to be scared and butt puckered every five seconds when we're driving, going on a little cruise, even going on a quick stop to the grocery store, out to dinner, you know what I mean? All the other cars I've driven, the Audi R8, the C8, the AMG, T, AMG GT, she was scared and every little break she would like, almost like she was anxious, you know what I mean? Like she was anxious every time we would go in, she was nervous. This car, she feels comfortable in. It's really weird, I don't know what it is, but this car is definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's an amazing, amazing piece of machinery. And to know that if she's comfortable driving in it, it just elevates that more of a reason to get it. Because you know how do you drive with your, your girlfriend and you, there's usually an argument whether it's about your driving or she's overreacting or whatever. Either way, it's an uncomfortable thing. You just want to enjoy the moment together. You know what I mean? But for her to be scared while I'm in my dream car, it's never, it's never going to be enjoyable when you're driving with someone. You know what I mean? But this car can be the sheep and the wolf all at the same time. Sheep when you want it, wolf when you want to rip up the road, man. God damn, it's amazing. Uh, all right, so I put that guy up in case anything wants to go flying out of here. At least I know my shit's not going to go anywhere. Speaking of Porsche, ooh, sounds good, man. All right, we'll do a quick pull right here. There's nobody around. God, it feels like it hovers over the over the pavement, over the concrete. I don't know how this little six-cylinder man just kicks you in the back of the seat, man. And I babied that. That wasn't full pedal to the ground, man. That was just a little touch to get by that lady before she moved over. And the way it just kind of feels like it skips over the ground, it's almost like you're hovering. Feels great, man. Take this corner here. God, man. I'm loving this car with every freaking second I'm in here. All right, hopefully it's freeway that I'm getting at. If not, I'm gonna have to record that a little later. Yeah, it looks like freeway. So I'll be able to get a quick pull up for you guys. It's not gonna hear shit with this wind, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, perfect, let's do it. <laughs> I'm excited. Hopefully I don't rail into something. Punch it right here. <laughs> oh my God, that was fucking insane. Oh my God. I don't know why I fucking stop breathing every time I accelerate. God damn. Let me give this guy another pull, man, because that was... Oh, this road sucks, though. All right, all right, now, so I'm going 55 right now. What's this? I'm going to wait for this guy to go by me, and I'm going to accelerate to see how fast that goes. Ready, and go. Oh my God. You just keep up. These guys are flying by you. A little tap and you're there. Oh my god, dude. Mother. I'm speechless. I can love this car. This thing is amazing. I need to get one. I just need to get one. Oh my god. A little touch. I just want to keep going. Oh, my fuck. I think I got airborne on that. What the shit? All right, one quick little pull right here. Let me go slow. Oh, my shit. Oh, my God. I'm having too much fun right now. All right, let's go down. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, this car, this car is it, man. This car is it, man. My ass is speechless, bro. Let's do a little switch over. This car is the best car that's made me feel ever, ever. 
And all my buddies out there like, oh, don't get a Porsche. It's for old guys. See, now I know why old guys love Porsche, man. They love their 911. It's because it makes you feel alive and it makes your dick hot all over again. It's phenomenal. Oh, this car is mint. God, it's amazing. Man, I just want a tunnel run so bad. Like, this thing makes you so focused. And I'm not even going, I'm not even going fast right now. Right now, I'm going the speed limit. And I'm just like, ready, man. God, man, it feels so good. Woo. Split hairs with this shit, man. God damn, man. So, as I was saying, Life is good. Such a nice cruiser, man. I can just cruise along. It's a beautiful sunny day in LA. Traffic, phenomenal. Car, phenomenal. Word of the day, phenomenal. God, this feels so good, man. This makes you feel like a kid again, man. A little Honda Fit going by, bro. There you go. Get at it, baby. Oh, I gotta move over. Oh, I don't wanna move over yet. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I missed the exit, I know. But I'm loving this car way too much to even care that I missed the exit. Oh my god. Hey, look at the Porsche dealership now. I think I'm gonna go there right after this. Bring back this rental, buy a 911, and drive it all the way back up to SF, man. My home base is in SF. Oh, I'm so happy I rented this car. Thank you so much to whoever you were that commented that I needed to try out the 911. You were a thousand percent right. Thank you. I think I've made my decision. I think I've made my decision. Oh my God damn. Yeah, it knows. It knows. It knows. It's the same feeling in auto and it's the same feeling in manual. This car is it, man. This car is it, man. Oh, I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. I don't want to bring it back. I don't want it to end. I want to go right to the Porsche dealer. God, this thing makes you fall in love. This is what love is, guys. You get in it, you go for a little ride, you're all, you know? It's just you and the beast. She takes care of you, man. She takes care of you. It's a good time, man. Oh, I love this girl. I love this girl. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm gonna do some more video of the inside. Yeah, this is a face of a guy that is like, excited about this car. So much so, I'll be shopping. Isn't the one? I gotta try out the McLaren 570S first, the Spider. I have to get a convertible. No matter what, I want a convertible. I'm in California. I'm not in Boston anymore. It's not snowing every other weekend. There's no salt on the floors, on the ground, whatever. Where we're driving. <sighs> this car feels good, man. I'm going to have to try out the McLaren 570S Spider and compare it with this one because nothing else compares to this car. The R8's garbage. The C8, it's all right. It was on top of my list. I'm not going to disrespect it. The AMG T was good, but it's not there. This, this 911. And imagine, I can't, I can't imagine the turbo GT3 RS. I, I can't imagine how those perform. It's way out of my league. I can never get one of those cars. Unless you guys like and subscribe, <laughs> and I get some kind of monetation. But it's been fun just renting these cars on Taro and feeling them out and discovering what I love and what I don't love, man. All the confusion of what to get and what not to get. I think it's been solved with this one. I think it's been solved. It's been a beautiful day, a beautiful drive, beautiful hanging out with you guys, chit-chatting all by myself talking to myself with two cameras and a good mic and a beautiful automobile man this 911 i tip my non-hat i tip my cup i tip my head back porsche good job guys this car checks all the little boxes i love it i love it no car i've driven yet has made me feel the way this car makes me feel i get it I get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like. I don't know what YouTube does. I'm, I'm new to this. I'm, not, I'm still trying to figure it out. But man, I love this car.